Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2001 Ford Taurus, and today I'll be showing you how to change the oil. These cars have a 3 liter V6 engine, and this procedure will be the same for all Tauruses made from 2000 through 2007. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Breaker bar with half inch drive. Socket wrench with 3 quarter inch drive. Socket wrench with half inch drive. Oil filter tool. 5 8 socket. Funnel, fluid drain pan, creeper, a jack, and jack stands. For this job, I also needed 4.5 quarts of 5W20 synthetic motor oil and an oil filter. Starting with a warm engine, we'll open the hood and remove the oil cap. Jack up the front of the car and set it on jack stands. Place the drain pan under the oil filter. It's located right behind the exhaust manifold. If it's hot, it shouldn't take too long to cool down. Just make sure not to burn yourself. This oil filter was too tight to remove by hand, so I used an oil filter tool. If you have an oil filter tool like mine, slip the strap over the filter, roll the metal shaft counterclockwise to tighten the strap, then snap your socket wrench onto the end and keep cranking on it until the filter comes loose. Once the filter is loosened, remove the tool and unscrew the filter by hand. Some oil will spill out of the filter. The oil drain bolt is all the way back here facing the rear of the car, so make sure you've raised the car high enough to reach it. You'll need a 5 8 socket. The bolt was tight and there wasn't much room to get leverage on it, so I used a breaker bar. Make sure your drain pan is in place before you pull the plug all the way out. I wasn't expecting this drain plug to have an o-ring instead of a crush washer. I didn't have a replacement on hand, but it looked good enough to use again. So I did. I removed the o-ring to clean the bolt before putting it back on, but if yours looks flattened or cracked, you should replace it. Looking back, I don't see why a crush washer wouldn't have worked, but I'm sure a Ford engineer would have something to say about that. Wipe clean the drain area and reinstall the plug. My chart says this model should be torqued to 16 to 22 foot pounds, but I used my internal torque wrench this time. Now we're ready for the new oil filter. Always coat the new filter gasket with a light layer of fresh oil and make sure the old filter gasket did not come off and stick to the engine. I usually pour a little oil into the filter to prime the first engine start, but I skipped that on this one since it has to be installed at a 90 degree angle. Tighten the filter by hand as much as you can, and then we can add the new oil. It's always tempting to skip the funnel, but using one is usually worth the extra effort. This engine takes 4.5 quarts. Replace the oil cap, lower the car, and run the engine for about 30 seconds to get the oil circulating. Turn off the engine and check the oil level at the dipstick. It's hard to see on video, but we're right at the full mark. Close the hood and we're done. That concludes this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. 
Please recycle your used automotive fluids. That's smooth. You can try again. Yeah, I mean, well, it's kind of leaking. Yeah, let's see. I guess so. I guess I can try that again. <laughs> as soon as I loosened it, it started dripping. Like a lot. And then I dropped my wrench in the drain pan. Can you have me a rag or a paper towel? Yep. Like this. Dumb. 